Good morning, everybody. Just finishing up my breakfast here at Awake. Got to head to the grocery store, do my Sunday shopping. It is a little bit nippy this morning. And when I left the house, it was about 40 degrees. And it is, hmm. Well, if I believe my temperature gauge, it's 50, but I don't believe it. I think it's probably more like 45. Hope all of you are having a great weekend. We're gonna have a beautiful day today. It's gonna get up to about 69 or 70 degrees. And then we got a cold front moving in. I guess that nor'easter is uh, heading our way or we're gonna catch some of the remnants of it. So, we shall see. I haven't been able to do very many motovlogs just because of the weather. Uh, it's been, you know, like in the 30s in the mornings and as you know that's uh, a little bit uh, below my limit. 40 is about my limit. It's actually okay today though at 40 degrees. It was pretty, uh, pretty tolerable. If it's not windy, I can handle 40 degrees. If you get a 20 mile an hour wind along with it, not for me. So anyway, I did my, uh, recently I posted the new crown and comments. Some of you may have already seen, but I know a lot of you don't watch crown and comments. And some of you are just kind of loyal moto vlog viewers. And uh, one of the questions <clears throat> that I received on my YouTube channel, one of the questions, one of the questions that I received on my, actually it was an email, recently was from a new Goldwing owner. I think it was an email, it might have been on YouTube, I'm not sure, but anyway, it doesn't matter. He asked me, what do I do when traveling to, um, protect the gold wing from theft so I interpreted that to mean like if I'm traveling on a road trip staying at hotels and that is a topic that I've never really talked much about in fact I've never talked about it at all so I'm just going to tell you quickly some of the things that I do when I stay at a hotel if I'm on a road trip first let's talk about the notion that a gold wing would be stolen and if any of you have ever experienced having your motorcycle or your gold wing stolen or even attempted to be stolen or if you know of anybody or have heard of anybody that a gold wing has been stolen I would appreciate it if you would put it in the comments down below I personally have never heard of it I'm not saying it can't happen, I'm just saying it's it would be difficult to steal a Honda Goldwing because it's so big and heavy. It could easily take three or four people to lift one of these and put it into, say, a trailer or the back of a pickup. Now, if you didn't have your front forks locked when you parked the bike, yes, it could definitely uh, you just roll it, you roll it up on a trailer. So the first thing I do when I park my motorcycle at a hotel is I always ask the hotel if I can park it up underneath the covered area of the hotel where the front desk can kind of keep an eye on it. Sometimes, some hotels will allow you to do that, some won't. It just depends on the hotel, it depends on the local fire marshal and what their restrictions are. If I can't do that, then I will park the motorcycle where I can see it from my room. So if I'm staying on the back side of the hotel, I want to be able to at least have eyes on the bike. The next thing I do is I always use a bike cover. Now mostly I do that not just for security but also in case it rains and I like to have a waterproof rain cover. And the one I have now which is the uh, one from Showchrome, it does repel water. It does a pretty good job. The one I had from Honda 
didn't repel water at all. It was lousy. But the one from the Ultra Guard it does. So I use a bike cover. I use the half cover. You could use a full cover. Always lock the front forks. I always lock the front forks. Whether I have the bike on the center stand or the side stand, you always use the fork lock. And I also have my Monimoto or my uh, Invoxia GPS tracker just in case. Just in case. I know it, it's probably never going to get stolen, but you never know. The other thing I do is I make sure to remove any valuables from the bike. So the GPS I take off, take it in the hotel room with me. The, uh, you know, obviously the GoPros or anything like that. I, I never leave any of that kind of stuff on the bike. So those are some of the things that I do. But the other thing I do is I try to stay in hotels that are in a reasonably good part of town. Uh, if I can. Sometimes if I'm traveling to an area that I'm not familiar with, I have no way of knowing until I get there. But I almost always will stay at a Holiday Inn Express or a Hampton Inn or a Hilton Garden Inn. One of these mid-level hotels. Uh, I avoid motels uh, if I can, but that, not always. I mean, sometimes, for example, I try not to stay at a Motel 6 or a Super 8. And I don't know if that makes a difference or not, but it just gives me a little better sense of security. I usually don't, I'm not too concerned about the motorcycle getting stolen. I, I tend to be more concerned about vandalism. Uh, somebody walking up and punching a hole in the tire or, you know, key in the bike or something like that. I've never had it be a problem. I've never experienced theft. I've never experienced vandalism. Uh, I've been very lucky. Knock on wood. There's no wood here except my head, and it's I got a helmet on it. So, I want to hear your stories. Have you ever been on a road trip where you're staying at a hotel or a motel, and you've experienced any kind of problem, vandalism or? Uh, attempted theft or theft, I'd be real curious to know. Like I say, I think a Goldwing is a difficult bike to steal because of the size and the weight. Same would be true of a Harley or even a large BMW. Now, if I think if you're on a road trip on a, uh, a V-Strom 650, you know, a couple of guys could probably pick up a V-Strom and throw it in the back of a truck. A uh, sport bike for sure or even a small, uh, say, say a KLR 650 or something like that. Uh, but I think these, these big bikes, probably it's less likely that you would experience a theft. But I'd be curious to know your thoughts. I've got a pretty big announcement coming up here in, in a week or so. I, I, I could do it now, but I want to make sure before I make the announcement, it's pretty... Uh, it's not a pleasant announcement, but oh, actually I have two announcements. One's really good news, and one's really not so good news. So I'll save that for a future, I don't know if I'll do it in studio or in the motor vlog. Um, and I know some of you keep waiting for my behind the scenes uh, studio video and the behind the scenes editing, and I'm, I'm still working on all that. Like I say, the um, the weather has kind of thrown me a curve. I'm actually going to go home today. It's going to get up to 70, so it'll be warm enough this afternoon. Uh, I'm installing a new product that I will be reviewing. And I actually have two products I'm reviewing right now, but I will be reviewing a new product. And this might be the only day that I have to try it out because it's going to be so cold next week. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to do it because it requires... Uh, the use of water and I'm afraid the water will be frozen so uh, hopefully I'll get that done today while it's uh, warm enough and maybe in a few days you'll see that video so anyway I want to thank you for joining me today on Cruise Man's Motor Vlogs if you like this video please do me a big favor and click that like button that really does help our rankings 
and if you haven't done so already uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel go ahead and join the cruise man fam and become part of our group here if you're passionate about bikes if you love motorcycles uh, this is definitely the place to be so we appreciate all of our subscribers and all of you that watch the videos thanks for joining me i will see you on the next cruise man's motor vlogs